alopecia weaving alternative. Imagine tilt your head back for me. So if you guys can tell, she has um, scarring alopecia up in the crown of her head. And then she has all of her beautiful hair down here. So we're doing a weaving alternative where we're able to apply that hair in the top or the crown of her head. And it lasts a lot longer with the method that I use to do this. Um, I actually adapted this method from another stylist by the name of CC. Uh, I think it's I think it's CC the Hair Diva on Instagram. She does a lot of weaving. I took one of her classes and just absolutely love this method, and it definitely is a game changer. So I've already basically shampooed her and conditioned her using our hair repair and growth um, shampoo and condition, and then I went through and molded her her hair down using our elite silk wrap foam you can just go ahead. elite silk wrap foam and then now i'm going to go ahead and finish out um her blow dry and style and then we're going to apply her extensions to the crown of her head so she has four levels of protection over the area where she has the alopecia that final layer of protection is this netting that we applied and this acts as a barrier between the glue the weave and the other levels of protection that she has already on the scalp level this also allows this style to last a lot longer because we have that barrier there which is that netting and that netting will allow that hair to sit there longer without her perspiring and it going through and getting on the tracks because you know those tracks, the glue that we use is water soluble. Go ahead and sit down for me. So all I'm gonna do is just go through and blow out her hair. And I use the Elite Silk Wrap Foam because I wanted to lay her hair down really, really easily and it will stay straighter longer when I do it that way. Okay, so her hair is now dry. I'm just kind of blowing it out. And we're going to start laying our tracks. Let's here. Okay. So how we do it is we do an enclosure um, where at the top she also gets bangs. So we do bangs in the front. So that's another reason why I wanted to show you guys this method. Because you guys know I love doing alopecia weaves. I just love it. It's, it's a challenge. I like the challenge. And this method has worked very well for her. So... I normally use about a half a pack of hair to maybe three quarters of a pack. Um, she is also salt and pepper, so we're also using a salt and pepper color hair for her. And then the first thing I do is I go through and weft and also make the weft nice and flat using my flat iron. Hey. So all I'm doing is flat ironing the weft. It's sealing the weft. It's making it nice and flat. It's taking all of the crooks or crooks out of the weft itself so it'll lay nice and flat when I go to do my installation. The way to make this work is your install has to be flawless, okay? So your weft needs to be nice and flat. Your weft can't be too big or too bulky. And when you've taken them out of the pack, they are all sometimes very bulky and they have those little crooks in them. So this is also a very important step. It just gives you a cleaner install. I'm gonna turn this on. All right, so I'm gonna actually bring you guys up and over so you can see what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Okay, so that brings you guys right above the head slightly. Let's see if I can bring you up some more. There we go. All right, so now you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And I'm gonna use hair glue 
Remember, as I said, we have four levels of protection up here. Okay, four levels. Before I even start, I'm gonna just spray a little bit of hairspray around the base of her free hair that is out because I don't want any of those hairs to get caught while I'm doing my install and I want them to just kind of lay out, lay flat. Okay, because I want my, my work area not disturbed. So I'm gonna start at the back here. Okay, as I said, her hair is fully protected regardless if she has scarring alopecia or not. I am still adamant on making sure that the hair there or none regardless is protected. So that's very important. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. This part goes really quickly. You can put the glue on the weft. Some people prefer it on the weft. I prefer mine's on the actual head if I can, okay? So my first track always, always, always is right at the base. And then as I go along, I'll increase the amount of space between my wefts. small bow dry and then now I'm gonna start increasing the amount of space between my weft so it's up for me and then I always like to mark out my closure so I know where I'm at I'm creating a guide so I know that my hair is gonna go on straight Miss K how long does this last What's the longest you've gone with it like this? Ooh. Weeks? Um, yeah, almost a month and a half, but close to two months. Nice. And it never moves. It's great. You guys hear her? She, the longest she's had this one install done from me is a month and a half because I didn't have any appointments. That was number one. Um, and it stayed. It stayed until I saw her. That's right. And the glue that I'm using is just your typical 30 second glue. Now on the sides, I'm gonna make it a little bit closer. Okay, reason being is you wanna make sure you have enough coverage going all the way around. We used to add tracks in between her hair as well. Um, we stopped doing that because it was just kind of unnecessary and it was more aggravation um, in those areas. So now we only do it on the top. And then as you guys know, I'm doing bangs, so I do want to make sure that I have enough coverage all the way around. That's very important. I'm a licensed barber from Mississippi. Hey, Michael. So this color that you see under here, that nice shiny looking brown, there's also paper under there. So that paper mimics the color of her scalp. So it looks like scalp, but it's not gonna show at all, but that's another barrier of protection. Okay, so you guys see my dot here, that's gonna be my closure. And then as I go, I always look and evaluate how full the hair is, if I need to space my tracks out a little bit more or less. I need you guys to go thumbs up, please, and thank you. If you're watching this live, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Close your chat and hit that thumbs up for me. So you see me going around and I'm kind of holding the track in place because I want to give the glue a chance to get a little more tacky. And a good thing if you sweat a lot, it still lasts because that hair is not really touching the scalp itself where it's getting all of that perspiration in there because we have so many different barriers of protection that you don't have to worry about perspiration. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put enough where I can do an enclosure here. The reason why I'm putting that much right now is because this part is going to go really quickly. And because it's a smaller space, the hair will lift a lot faster here. So that's another reason why I wanted to make sure that I went ahead and started it off with enough because this part goes really fast. And then right here, you want to just make sure that it's nice and flat. So you want to make sure that your install is very, very flat and seamless. That is the only way that you can make this work. I need another piece of hair, so I'm going to go ahead and take a piece out of this. And what I'm going to do now... Uh -oh. okay, got it. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to split my weft because I want it to be even flatter up there, right where my closure is. So I'm going to split my weft. For those of you that don't know what a weft is, this is the weft, okay? So all I'm going to do is take a razor. And this is how you split the weft. So I'm just using my razor blade and just going down. You want to be careful. Number one, you don't want to slice your finger. Number two, you want to keep your weft intact as best possible. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and seal this off. Place my glue. Start the blow dry process. Because I want it to get tacky. Starting now, I'm going to straighten out my wefts with my flat iron. Okay, the wefts are nice and warm. I'm just going to lay this right here, okay? And this part is definitely important. You want to make sure that your closure is done nice and flat and neat neatness it's the most important part Okay, now this little spot right here can be very tricky. Okay, because you'll think that you have more than enough hair to do a closure there and you do not. And that glue dries really quickly. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that my track is laid here. And then I am going to now do a closure piece using the remainder of this hair, very small amount, okay? I'm going to start my closure piece with the glue here, okay? So if you guys notice, I put a dollop of glue, and then I'm going to take my scissors and create a little circle here. So let me start with some of this glue here, so I'll make sure I lock that in. So all I'm doing as I go around is I'm adding a little bit of glue so that my closure stays together. Okay. I'm pulling it together. I'm smushing it with my finger. All right, so now I have my closure piece, right? 
I need a little bit of glue here. I have my closure piece. I'm smushing the closure piece in my fingers because I want it to be the same size and shape as where I'm closing. Okay, so you guys notice I made it like a, a little flat oval. And then I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to now set it in this area. Remember, I gave that glue a chance to get nice and tacky. And then I'm just gonna go through and find my center. Okay, and use my finger and smush it in. Okay, you wanna hold it because if you don't, it's just gonna pop up on you. So how you can also get this to lay down is this is when I will go through and I'll put a little bit of glue on the tip of my comb. Okay, and then I'll just go around and touch that hair that's right under it. Just to create an anchor. It's not going to make it lay 100%. It takes pressure, okay? But you don't want to be too much because then you're going to give your client a headache. <laughs> and then anywhere else that I see it sitting up, I'll take a little bit more glue. Only at the base. And literally just tap it in. And then just comb down. You're not going to see the glue. No one else is going to see the glue. All you're going to see is that there's a good closure here. Okay. And then you can take either a little bit of wrap foam or a spritz in her case because it's nice and flat already. I'm not going to wet it down anymore. I take a little bit of spritz and my flat iron and I just use the back and just use that heat to lay it down a little bit more. Okay. And we got our closure. See, nice and flat. Okay, everything needs to look nice and flat. That's very important. All right, so I'm gonna tilt you guys back up because we're gonna go ahead and finish off her service. Thank you. All right, there we go. So now you guys can see it's nice and flat on all sides. Let me move this out some. Nice and flat, all sides. Okay. If I part her hair here, it should just melt right in with her hair. Did I just pop that piece off? Oh no, I didn't. Okay. That's how we do it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and part out my bangs, okay? Now with a style like this, I don't like to do blunt cut bangs. So all I'm doing is just parting out her bangs here. Bangs are really easy to do, by the way, you guys. Okay, and I'm just gonna take my clip, clip it back. Same thing on this side. My clip, clip it back. So that same razor that I just used to split my weft is the same razor that I'm gonna use to create her bangs. You can use shears as well. I just feel like when you're dealing with the natural hair and you're trying to blend it and make it appear to be as natural as possible, it's somewhat easier to create a rigid or rugged line than a straight line. Straight lines don't, naturally, like, we don't really have a lot of straight lines, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm taking, you want to hear? Is that good? Right there? Mm -hmm. Too low. You want it lower? Let me, let me feel what you do. Go ahead. Thank you. Where are we? We are right here. 
I'm the right there. That's good? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna flip my bang. Just like that. So you want some nice rugged bangs. You don't want blunt bangs, okay? And then I'll take my shears and just clean it up. Just like that. And she can breathe under here, y'all. Y'all can't see her, but I can. <laughs> I am very comfortable. So imagine that these were her eyes right here, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take this out. This hair is actually the length of her hair, so we're not gonna do a lot of cutting at all. No, I'm not gonna do any cutting. I don't even have to do much blending. So all I wanna do is part her hair out and the extension hair. Thank you. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start Silking out her hair and finishing the style. Chin down for me. So she still has to get her hair silked out. She is natural. So all I'm gonna do is just silk her hair out. And I do hers in large sections because she's also fine textured. If you guys notice, I didn't put any product on her hair. How often would her own hair have to be flat iron when wearing this style? Miss K, how often do you flat iron your hair? Only when I return for Okay. My next visit, nothing. So she does not flat iron her hair again. No. After she leaves here until she sees me again. Your videos are so impressive that I was dreaming of watching one. <laughs> Don't worry, girl. I'll do that too. All right. So for up here, all we're going to do is the same thing. So I'm just going to go through and just kind of silk out the extensions just so that salt and pepper extensions typically have texture to them. Right? So they still have a slight amount of texture to mimic your hair, but you still want to add a little bit of heat just to kind of smooth it out.
Thank you so beautiful. Now for the front of her face, I'm going to give her just a little, sorry, mm -hmm. just a little bit of layering, not much, mm -hmm. just to kind of frame her face. I enjoyed it the last time you did it, the way you cleared it. Thank you. It feels so naturally. The bang? Mm -hmm. And the way you lit it, it on the side. Yes, ma'am. It just was so naturally. I'm glad you like it. Love it. Thank you, girl. All right, so all I'm doing is just going through and bumping her ends. And then I'll focus on her bangs in just a moment. So for the bangs, I'm going to divide it into two. Take my flat iron. And I'm not going to give her a curl. I'm giving her more a bump. All right, spray a little bit of hairspray on the top here just to seal the deal, get all those flyaways down. I'm going to teach her I go back to work next Wednesday and I'm watching Chris has been a highlight of my summer. Thank you, Maria. All right, so I'm just going to seal it off up here. Just take your heat just to make it nice and smooth. You guys can tell it's nice and smooth. Okay. All right. It's time for the review. Girl, there's one of these right here. Yes. All right. all right, you guys. So she's all done. I love it. It's a beautiful. 
it looks beautiful. It is. It's cool. All right, you guys. So she's all done. I'm gonna put a little bit of finishing spray, a little bit of goddess polish, just to add a little bit of sheen. That's also gonna help keep down the little frizzies because when you're using salt and pepper extensions, it comes with the frizzies. And then when you look at the back of her head, you don't know that we just put extensions in here until you part through the, the whole thing and be nosy. <laughs> but other than that, you'd never know. Shake it for me. You'd never know that she had extensions. So that's the good thing about this style. All right, you guys, I appreciate everybody for watching this live. Don't forget, as I've been saying, today is the final day to register for the hair care boot camp. Um, the boot camp sign up is in the description box, so you know how to do so. Listen, my nosy people stay away. <laughs> um, the boot camp sign up is in the description box. Today is the final day to register at midnight tonight. And then I'll see everybody on Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching and thanks for joining Elite Hair Care USA. Peace out.